This is the Honeycomb GA trim wheel, designed to fit over your existing Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant. I bought it for about 50 Australian dollars, that's about 30 USD, and this is what it looks like. I know what you're thinking, $30 for a bit of silicone? I thought the same thing, I still ordered one and I'm going to talk about it. The Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant is a firm favourite for flight simmers and myself. It has bags of value, a quality construction and tons of features. There's just one thing I always thought could be a little bit better and that's where this little guy comes in. So the existing trim wheel, well I just don't like the way it feels. Now it's based off a Boeing style trim wheel so it's good if you like that commercial look in your flight setup but it just feels so plasticky and there's not much resistance, it's just a little bit light feeling. That's the best way I can describe it. Back to what I said in the beginning, 30 USD for a bit of silicon. It feels a tad expensive for something that maybe should have been included in the original product, the same way as they include the general aviation levers. Now, this thing is entirely made out of silicon. It doesn't look or feel cheap, and why should it? Because it's not. So, as expected, it has a very nice finish to it. It's when you get this fitted to the trim wheel that the magic really happens. The trim wheel feels tighter, more substantial, and the texture is really nice. I can tell you right now, this is never coming back off. Is it easy to install? Well, yeah. It takes about three seconds, and it fits pretty snug. Initially, I thought it was gonna to be too close to the gear lever when it's down, as there's only like a few millimeters there, but it fits in just nice. There's nothing not to love here. Well, apart from the price. Whether I'm flying commercial style or general aviation, I reckon this trim wheel is a permanent change for me. It just feels so goddamn smooth to rotate and the texture make it feel quite premium. And well, look at it. You can't tell me it doesn't look great. Do I think it's overpriced? Well, no. Expensive and overpriced are two different things. Sure, it's expensive for what it is, but as far as what it does for the price, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. It made my honeycomb throttle quadrant just that little bit more premium feeling, and the change is easily enough for me to justify the price I paid. So this is what the website says. Hassle-free modification. Tick. Silicon material is comfortable and easily attachable. Tick. Requires no external tools, yep. Tough, durable material, it is. Protect from dust or potential damage. I think that's a slight reach, but overall that's quite a few ticks. You can buy this from flyhoneycomb.com. Price will vary a little depending on where you live, but it's around the 30 USD mark. If you're like me and have an issue with the standard trim wheel that comes with the throttle quadrant or a problem relating to either resistance or fuel, then yeah, you should buy this. You won't be disappointed. It's amazing at solving those two particular things and it looks great. If you're happy with the existing trim wheel, which many people are, then I probably wouldn't be spending $30 unless I'm just looking to replicate a GA trim wheel when I fly that type of plane. Now, I have something pretty cool coming for the Throttle Quadrant in the next few weeks, so make sure to tap that subscribe button and don't miss out on the next Honeycomb upgrade.